welcome to the garden. Today I'm planting out a second round of crops. It's midsummer, which means it's the longest day of the year. This is a great time to pull out those spring crops that are going to flower and plant out a whole new batch of summer crops. Now that the mustard greens are producing their seeds, I'm gonna pull these out today. I'm gonna to sow out new red lettuce seeds in their place. But I wanted to show you something really interesting. This one is growing right out of the container. There's a little hole in the side of the pot and somehow a seed sprouted all the way down there. So, <laughs> this is really funny. If we follow the plant up, it's this little guy right here. You can even see the little individual seeds in there. So that's really cool. But I am going to pull this. Let's see if we can get it out from here. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> so the only thing we'll keep in there is that kale right in the center. I might actually leave this one for a couple more days. It's got a load of flowers on it and it's right here at the edge. So I really don't think it's going to disturb our new plantings. Kale's looking pretty good. So we're definitely going to leave that. And these spinach can actually be pulled and then dried. The flowers are spent and the seeds are mostly formed. So we can pull these out by the root and just keep the plants whole and they'll dry on the stem. So that's a great way to save time so that you're not wasting space out in the garden. I've pulled the spinach out by the roots and now I've left this upside down and these will dry for the next couple months. Wow, look at this cucumber. It's vining all the way over here. Holy cow. I didn't expect that. It's in that pot way over here. This is like six feet away. That's awesome. So I might actually stake this because it looks like it's gripping on. Yeah, it is. It's actually gripped onto the mustard greens. So I am gonna have to remove that little grip but I'll make sure to tie it up to a stake. I might also train it somewhere else. Wow, the garden is just gorgeous. Look at those little damselflies. So we're just gonna start pulling these out by the root. The soil's nice and soft because we got a bunch of rain, so this'll go really quickly. So we've got a good three quarters of a container to plant out here. I'm just gonna loosen the soil, get rid of any weeds, roots left over. Now's a great time to add compost if you want. This is a little mixture of compost and potting soil. So that'll help improve the body of the soil, lighten everything up a bit. But I wanna be sure to mix it in so that it's not just sitting on top. Now we can plant out our red lettuce. So I actually saved these seeds from last year. I haven't bothered to filter out the seeds, so I'm just gonna sprinkle them on like this. I wanna break up those flower heads anytime I see them, because that's where those seeds clunk. But if you're using seeds from a packet, you wanna spread them out fairly thin. So I'll just mix these in with the topsoil now. So that'll bury them just about a centimeter under the soil. Now we're set to get rain, so I'm actually going to let these get watered in tonight. But we can do the same thing with a few different containers. I've got some radishes to pull, some more mustard greens, and maybe even some spinach and lettuce. So it's actually not too late to plant out new seeds. I'm planting new batches of lettuce out in the vegetable garden and backup flowers for the flower garden. My backup poppies are really doing well. The reason there are so many pods in here is because I split them all open, gathered up all of my seeds, and then I just planted these just in case there were any extras. You never know when there's a few seeds left over inside, and I've still got a whole bunch of seeds left too, on top of the thousands that we planted out into the flower garden. But because of all those perennials, I don't think we're going to get very many poppies out there this year. But I'm definitely glad I'm doing a backup round of poppies and cornflower. 
And these will actually flower a little bit later than the ones out in the flower garden. So we'll have staggered color all year. Poppy seeds are tiny. They're even smaller than the ones you see on like poppy seed muffins because these are homegrown from my own flowers. They come out of these little pods and they fall out like salt and pepper shakers. So to plant these, we're just gonna sprinkle them onto some prepared soil. So this is nice and loose and we're just gonna sprinkle them on top. They can be a little tricky to see because they're so dark but we're just sprinkling on those seeds. And then what I like to do is just press them in. That'll surround them with soil and not smother them. Because they're so small, we really don't wanna bury these. We just wanna press them into some nice prepared soil. You wanna water these in very gently so you don't disturb the seeds. So now we'll keep these well watered for the next week or so and give them lots of sunlight. It's gonna be fun to watch these grow from these tiny little sprouts into full grown plants with flowers. So even if you haven't started yet, there's definitely still time to garden. Some of these containers are also getting peppers and tomatoes. If you want to see how I plant these out, you can click on this video right up here. I've pulled out all but two of the radishes in this container. These I'm letting go to flower. But we can succession plant peas and carrots down here. This will give us a staggered harvest. I'm doing all this on the longest day of the year, also known as midsummer, or the summer solstice. Midsummer is the perfect time to plant out your second round of crops, and if you haven't planted anything yet, now is a great time to start. So I hope you all are out enjoying the longest day of the year. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.